Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan here from Active Tech Review and today I'm going to be teaching you how to transfer video from your computer, your laptop, whatever you're using, to your iPad or iPad Pro. In this case, I'm going to be using an iPad Pro. Um, you do need one of these things, which is the SD card reader from Apple. I think you get some off-market ones or um, you know, um, off-label ones that are not Apple branded. But one of the problems I ran into is I had trouble transferring files, and that's the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, it's a really cool tip. I can just tell you in just a few seconds here. All you really have to do is create a folder, label it DCIM, and then you're going to save the video files and all the um, text files to, or the photo files into the DCIM folder, and then you're going to connect it. As soon as you connect it, you're going to be able to see uh, the images. Now, one more caveat. Sometimes if you're like me and you save videos and you relabel them, one thing that's really important for this reader to actually catch uh, to really see the videos or photos is that there have to be eight characters long exactly. So if they're less than eight characters or more than eight characters, it will not read. As of this moment, that's all I've been able to figure out. Uh, I do sometimes record with MTS files and that's sort of a pain. I've been using the iPad Pro for a little bit of video editing and kind of what I found is that uh, it kind of, MTS files don't read so you have to convert the MTS file to an MP4 file. Um, and if you want to do that, uh, you just convert it and you know, you can download a converter but I just use a Adobe Premiere uh, Pro to convert it to MP4. And then you do the same thing, make sure it's eight characters long uh, and then you should be good to go. Um, if you got any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you, there'll be a link for this, uh, I think cheapest price on Amazon for this converter. Uh, I'll just also have the model of the iPad that I use. Uh, you know, um, I, I probably want to do a review on this. I just don't know if I'm going to have time to do one. I really, I really love this thing. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Click that thumbs up button if you haven't already, and I'll see you later.